just last night, Warburg women's basketball players Emma Gerties and Adrian Bucker came in to talk with us about the Knights' postseason success. Emma and Adrian, thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. I know that you're super busy with the NCAA tournament and everything that's going on, so we really appreciate your time for coming in. Yeah, thanks um, for So us. the all-conference awards came out over the last couple of days. Um, you were both, like Emma, you were named the conference MVP, and Adrian, that you were named uh, the uh, first team all-conference. What does it feel like to earn those honors? Um, it's really nice. We know there's a lot of really good athletes on our team and in our conference, so it is a nice honor, but we talk about you know, as our team, we help make each other. So a lot of team effort goes into those. Yeah, repeat of what Aid <laughs> said. I mean, um, there's a lot of deserving players in our league, and it, it's really cool to um, get that honor, and it means a lot. Yeah. Okay. One of the biggest storylines coming into this year was how all five starters from last year's team graduated. Um, and so the expectations for this team are kind of up in the air. Um, obviously, the team looked great all year. You know, you guys went 24 and three. Uh, the team really came together. So, um, what is this? Uh, what does it feel like for this team to like elevate all over again? Uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we had a lot of people who weren't sure how we were going to look. Uh, there was a lot of unknowns in the community. Um, but as a team, like we knew we had what it took, and it kind of was like coming from behind. Kind of people doubted us a little bit, and so it was a lot of fun to kind of. Teams weren't sure what they were going to get with us, but we have had a lot of success, and I think that makes it special and fun just to kind of prove them wrong. Yeah, almost. prove yeah. people kind of wrong. Surprise them with yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Uh, so both of you came off the bench last year. Was it hard to go from bench roles to kind of being like team starters and veteran stars so quickly? Um, I mean, I th we both played quite a bit last year too. So um, personally, I didn't feel much of a change from coming off the bench or starting, but. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah, it's a little different because when you come off the bench, you kind of get to see how people are playing. But starting coming in, I don't know. It's it's, it's fine. It's fun. Both both ways are different, but yeah. Yeah. Um. So, what does it feel like to have finished kind of like the definitive best team in the conference, uh, postseason and regular season, and uh, moving into the NCAA tournament uh, for the fourth time in your guys' careers? Yeah, that was one of our goals coming into the season was winning the conference, and we did that. And now getting a host at NCAA tournament is um, amazing. It's so nice to host and be able to play in Levick and um, our home crowd comes and nothing really beats when it's loud in Levick and we have a lot of community members that support and it's great for our families. So it's really awesome to be able to host. Yeah, for sure. Um, so there are some outstanding transfer students on your team. Um, just like kind of starting and how have they been important to your success this season? Mm -hmm. They've been huge. Um, Tori, Amanda, Peyton, they all give us great minutes. And um, yeah, I mean, they just add to the potential that our team has and they're fun to play with. Yeah, it's been, they've done really well in the transition. They've came in, they've bought into our program and what we're trying to build and it's been awesome to have them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, so Coach Ansbury is the reigning Division Three Coach of the Year, and he's doing a great job. So how big was his like, coaching role within like, get, you guys getting into the NCAA tournament? Uh, our coaching staff is amazing. Um, Coach Ansbury, Coach Jacobs, Coach Tyler, I mean, they're awesome. I have nothing but good things to say about them. Um, Basketball-wise, they're amazing and they know the sport well, but also coaching us as people and players, I mean, they really help us in all aspects of our life, and it makes basketball at the D3 level, like, awesome. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. So, Adrian, this is your farewell season. Uh, can you talk about the memories that you've made on your four seasons as playing for a night? Yeah, uh, one of the best decisions ever was coming here to play basketball. I've had so much fun with um, the sport itself and then making new friends. And um, we've gone on some fun trips. And just the memories that I've made have just been amazing. So I'm super thankful for my time here and grateful to the coaches and the teammates I've had. Yeah, um, so Emma, you started off this year as a nursing student, um, which typically goes like to a three-in-one program, so you'd do it in three years, um, and then one year you'd be off campus, but you switched your major. Um, so is this kind of, uh, will you be playing on your, for your season, senior season next year? Yeah, so I've always um, planned on being here for four years, but yeah, I switched, I was actually a biology major, um, and I've always planned to do nursing, but um, going exercise science, it just, I still get the prerequisites for nursing school, but it's just some more classes that I, um, I think will enjoy more than um, I would if I was a biology major. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for coming yeah, in today and you. talking with us about this.